Hello and welcome to this video by filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Today we're going to be looking at the time out variable or the TM out variable for your shell. This is a variable that you can set and give it a number of seconds and that will be how long uh, until the shell times out after the last command was run. Uh, you can, uh, this can be useful, especially if you're like a system admin, maybe you're at a screen and maybe you're doing stuff as root. Uh, and you want to make sure that you don't forget to close that shell so you can set the timeout and you can probably put this in your bash RC or your Z RC file your, for Z shell or whatever shell you're running. And um, that way, if you don't run a command in a certain number of seconds, it will close out your shell. So that variable is called TM out, all capitals, so TM out. And then you give it a number of seconds, so I can say five. And now that I've done that, I've got a few shells here open just to show you. After five seconds, that shell will close. I can run that TM out, and I can say five seconds. Uh, but if I was to run date, 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 see I'm running commands, my shell is not going to time out. But as soon as I stop running commands, after five seconds, that shell should close. Great. Now, tm out equals, and we will say five seconds again. Be aware that it is after the last command was run. So I could still be typing out a big long command, but after five seconds, this shell will close, even though I was typing something. So it's running command. So again, TM out, you could set something to like 60 seconds, or if you want to do 10 minutes, you can do 600 seconds, or you can do six seconds. And again, I can um, run date, run date, and I'll start that timer over again, but after date, I should be able to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. So that is the timeout variable for your shell. Uh, I've checked it in bash and in Z shell, and it's set for both of those. It seems like it's a pretty standard thing. And again, it can be very useful if you just don't want to leave your shell open, especially if you're doing things as a root user, and you might uh, get distracted and walk away from the keyboard, and then it's you know, your root shell's open. And most modern systems now, if you use sudo, sudo will store your passwords for a set amount of time. Uh, so you might want to set your timeout for less than that so that, you know, if you haven't typed a command in, in one minute, it will exit out. But also be careful, you don't want to exit out in the middle of you doing something. Anyway, this was a quick little video to show you the timeout variable for your shell. I thank you for watching. And, oh, and you should be able to, I haven't checked this, but since it's a variable, I should be able to say uh, timeout like this and echo, and I don't have it set, but if I set timeout equal to five, and then run that. So if you're curious of what your timeout is, that is how you would check that. Uh, so that is all, <laughs> I just closed my shell. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K. This has been fun, have a great day.